and welcome to our next video where we learn regarding area for Cartesian coordinate or Cartesian curve. If curve is given in XY coordinate, how to find out the area? You always discuss about the area, then area is two dimension quantity. You know that area always given in the XY direction. If we discuss about the volume, then it will go for three dimension. So area is always in two dimension. So just area means double integration with respect to xy or whatever your given coordinates for area bounded by the curve if curve is in terms of x y1x and y2x there are two curves then in, inside in between region find out the area we have to find out this area so see this is the lower limit for and this is upper limit so when we find out this types of curve area then our limit this is for x going from a to c maximum so a to c y gives from the lower limit gives from this curve equation y1x to y2x dy dx means first we integrate with respect to y and then entire curve integrate with respect to x just like two double integration if area bounded by the curve curve given in the form x1 y or x2 y means equation of curve given x equal to some y terms so area is given by y y is constant so y is minimum is b maximum is d so for y limit is b and d and for x x1 y with the help of curve x1 y is up to x2 y dx first we integrate with respect to x then we integrate with respect to y okay so area if we discuss about the area area means just double integration we have to find the upper and lower limit then integrate it no function is there see no given function is there this formula of area is dx dy of double integration where limits are sometimes given or sometimes you have to find out now we discuss some problems then you can easily understand if question find area bounded by a by a parabola y square is equal to 4x and line 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 clear so now your step one find out the upper and lower limit for x and y okay so now we can easily sorry for x see our curve we can find out the y in with respect to x so what we can do we can find out the upper and lower limit for x y when we use both equation first we substitute from equation number 1 if this is 2 then 1 gives x is equal to y square by 4 okay substitute this value of x in this so 2a at the place of x we put y square by 4 minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 so equation becomes again simplify y square minus 6y plus 8 equal to 0 so we can find out the roots y square minus what 4 to the 8 4y minus of 2y plus 8 gives 0 so what are the roots y equal to 2 and 4 so this gives value y equal to 2 and 4 means y varies from 2 to 4 maximum is 4 and minimum is 2 next we want to find out the value of x so now we see there we can find out the value of y in terms of constant then limit of x 
in terms of y definitely now we you can easily find out 1 x is equal to y by 4 one limit is this other is x is equal to 4 by plus 3 by minus 4 by 2 but how you decide which one is the upper limit and which one is the lower limit for this you can draw the curve when you draw the curve i just draw here you can easily sometimes curve are difficult but you can easily when you draw y square is equal to 2x it is it goes like this when you draw this line 2x minus 4y is equal to 0 then this line goes from to here means like this it's not very proper if you can plot the point and plot then you will get the exact proper area so our we have to find out of this bounded by this so you know our y maximum goes from 2 to 4 and x we don't know okay x we have to find similarly for if you want to value of x you put 2 x is equal to y square by 4 So when we put y is equal to two, then two square means four by four gives value one. And similarly, when we put x y square is equal to four, then sixteen by four, four square is sixteen by four is four. So x going from one to four. This point is four. This point is four comma zero, and this point is four comma. This is zero comma four, and this point is one comma zero. So x. Now you can find the area of given curve either with the limit x is constant or with the limit y is constant. Whatever you can easily, I can make both. And you will decide also which one is the lowest limit, which one. This. Curve, or this is the line equation. So line equation gives lower limit, and the curve of parabola, parabola gives upper limit. Okay, in any case. So if we want to write our in terms of x, so x going from one to four. One two four. Y going from line equation. What is your line equation? Line equation is two x minus three y plus four is equal to zero. So in terms of y, two x plus four by three. Okay. So this lower limit gives by line plus four by three and upper limit. y square is equal to 4x then y is equal to root of 4x means 2 root x dy dx first we have to integrate with respect to y then integrate with respect to x similarly you can form the other also if you can form taking y constant limit so y is going from 2 to 4 if we take 2 to 4 and then lower limit with x x what is the value of x with this equation so x is equal to 3y minus 4 minus 4 by 2 and upper limit is x y square by 4 dx dy in this case you have to integrate first with respect to x and then after y both integrals give same result because area value of area cannot change either you can solve with this either you can solve with this this is just one example of change of order of integration also if we change of order of integration gives this this change of order of integration gives this and the value for both integral is the same clear 